you can see she's she's all over the Bay Area, guys. Um, we love her around here. Please welcome to the stage, Leslie Small. Ms. Van No, let her hear it, everybody. It's fantastic. I like that. I like that straw action. How we doing, guys? We drinking tonight? Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's stoked about. It. We're doing the Lord's work. All right. It's Sunday. We're drinking. We're doing it because we're awesome. I haven't been able to drink a lot lately, you guys. I've been babysitting my niece. She's a lightweight. I know, right? <laughs> she is just a lightweight. But, you know, she's adorable. A little stupid, but aren't they all? You know, she'll do this thing that just warms my heart. She'll sit there and she'll spin around in circles until she gets so dizzy. Boop, she just falls down. But she gonna get back up and she gonna spin around again and fall. And, like, it's cute because, like, deep down I know she's gonna be a drug addict one day. <laughs> The signs are they're spinning is a gateway drug, people. They're really just looking for a head change, you know? It's cool, though. I, uh, I like living in San Francisco, you know? Even our, some of our problems, they're not that bad, right? We got like a little like homeless problem. No air quotes, actually, we have a homeless problem. Uh, it's a little messed up, but like, you know, even then, like the other day, I saw a really hot homeless guy. I know, like he was attractive. I was like, what did you do to mess up this life, boy? Like, he was that kind of high. You're like, how did you Lindsay Lohan everything, you know? What went wrong? I'm like, well, he's probably running from the law, you know? I could offer him refuge. In my vagina. <laughs> uh, only temporarily, though, you know? This isn't a slop house. And I had already thought about what my pickup line could be. Like, I was just going to, like, put my phone number on a dollar. Like... <laughs> Right? Or just like, hey, I have a place to sleep at night. Let's go. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like I was pretty, like, upset. I got this one in the bag, you know? Uh, I checked my makeup. I felt good about myself. And then this bastard, he did unthinkable. Pulled out an iPhone. That's when I realized he was just a filthy, filthy hipster. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This girl's got standards, okay? Homeless is one thing. You chose to be a hipster. Not cool. Not cool at all. This next statement, it may sound a little hip, but I promise you, it's not. Like, okay. I was into bacon before they were putting it in milkshakes. Does that make sense? Like, I feel like it's everywhere now, and like, they're really making a mockery out of something I love dearly. Bacon's an everyday food, you know what I mean? I feel like a Navajo Indian about bacon, too, you know what I mean? Like, spiritually connected, and I use the whole bacon, people, okay? I'm talking about the delicious juice, that grease, oh my god! That happiness just, like, it lives in the, in the prettiest cup in my whole house, on the stove top. You put anything there, I dipped toast in there the other day, it was delicious, all right? Step your game up, you know? It, it... It pretty much elevates anything to a level of awesome, right? We can all agree there. So this is when, uh, when it came to me, I, I ran out of perfume the other day, you guys, before work. And I cannot, I can't go in there smelling like weed again, you guys. I've been worn twice. So I just took a little bit, you know, behind the ears. Nothing crazy, you guys, nothing insane. But I'll tell you what, it was an amazing day, right? Like, I felt saucy all day long. A guy licked my neck on the bus. And I don't think it was sexual. Like, I think it just smelled really tasty, you know? And then I moisturized so well, it got me thinking. It was like, oh my god. Guys, seriously? Why aren't you using bacon grease to masturbate? I know. I feel silly too, because it's been in front of us this whole time. This whole time. It's organic. You know, it's a renewable resource. And it's that gentleman, don't you think that if you regularly waxed it with a little bit of bacon love, it would develop a certain scent? Perhaps even a flavor? You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, like, a lady would be much more excited to give you a slurp job if it was all bacon flavor. It's pretty awesome, right? Like, and ladies, like, but like, that's the thing, man. Ah, oh, it's not for us. It is not for us to do that. We. No bacon grease in our bits. There's a delicate pH balance cracking off down here, often referenced in like those commercials where it's the girl in the gray hoodie on a rainy day, just... My vagina's gross. I'm paraphrasing, of course. Um, I think it was bacon related, I don't know. I don't know the source of her problem, but I wouldn't blame her, is all I'm saying, right? I'm like, ah. Uh -huh. 
right? That lends its, lends its way to penis envy, you guys. It just does. Because we can't do that. We can't do that. They made bacon lube, but that's gross. All right, that's just gross. And not authentic at all, you know? And like, you know, it'll strike at weird times. Like, I was at the beach with some friends a couple weeks ago, and we were drinking. We were having our sip on. And my guy friends, like, they don't have to think twice, you know what I mean? They're just peeing everywhere, having a good old time. But ladies, you know what I mean? The, the tipsier we get, and at the beach, no less? Pop in a squat? I don't know if you knew this, but sand is one of the vagina's natural enemies. It's a scientific fact. God forbid you lose your balance. And just touch even the slightest bit. You're never gonna get it all out of there. Just accept that. Accept it. Start working through the pain. Cause that's the thing, you guys. If if you per, if you just gotta push through and persevere. You know what I mean? That's how pearls are made. It is true. That is true, you guys. That's how that works. Think about that every time you see a pearl necklace now, just like, wow. I appreciate the effort that went into that. You know, and guys, they, they totally got off easy on, like, the grooming thing, you know? Like, ladies, what we gotta go through is a little different than what they gotta go through, right? They're kind of like, hey, here's the penis. You're welcome. Right? It doesn't matter what thicket it's, like, branching out of. They're like, no, it's all Awesome, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, we're over here waxing and like there's like bleaching and glittering and like bedazzling. There's a lot. And even to get to that point, there's a growth period where we have to wait, right? Where we have to have like the, the five o'clock shadow on our vagina, right? Which just looks like a grizzled detective before you get waxed. <laughs> I seen some shit, kid. <laughs> And it sounds like that because it took up smoking, you know? But guys, I feel like finally, like, they finally caught up and I'm proud of you, you know what I mean? I'm proud. It's because I feel like they know about the grooming rumor, you know? Right? Everybody knows this, right? Everything looks bigger once you trim down there. Guys, it's super true. You know what I mean? Because the last time I got waxed, I was like, holy shit, look at that thing. So girthy. No, it's always been that way. It's always been that way, you guys. You guys have been fantastic. I'm Leslie Small. Thank you so much.